Hi all! So today I will be showing you all how to make the Angel Halo bracelet. This bracelet is an original idea of mine. I uh, designed it over summer break and I hope you guys like the tutorial. So let's get started. For starters, I have removed the middle pin bar. So I just have the two outside ones left and they are set in the rectangular position so they are aligned together. I have three different colors of rubber bands over here and my hook. We won't be using the whole entire length of the loom, so we'll just be using four pegs on the outside. Okay, to start off, I'm going to take my first color of rubber band, and I'm going to go ahead and take it, put it on this pin right here, and put twist it like that, like how you would start a normal fishtail bracelet. I'm going to take my second band, and I'm going to come over here, and twist it again and put it over here so the two bands cross an intersection at the middle. Now I'm going to take my second color and I am not going to twist it, I'm just going to lay it normally. You will never have to twist again in the bracelet, that's just for the beginning part. And then I'm going to go ahead and cross again on this peg right here. Now taking my third color, I'm going to go ahead and cross them over again and from this peg diagonally over to here and take another rubber band and go diagonally over to here. Now is when I'm going to go ahead and start the hooking process. I have my loom turned here for you all to see better. Now as you can see I have gray on the bottom, pink in the middle, and blue all the way on the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull the very bottom rubber band, which in my case is gray, and I'm going to pull it up and over and then I'm going to take this rubber band right here and I'm going to pull it up and over. Completely release it, it won't fall off. I'm going to go ahead and turn my loom and I'm going to go ahead and pull the rubber band on the bottom up and over and this rubber band up and over. We have completed our first layer so now I'm going to go ahead and scoop my rubber bands down and we are ready to add on our next set of rubber bands. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put another layer of gray on, and then I'm just gonna start at the bottom here, pull it up, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it from this corner over here to the bottom corner. And now we are ready to go ahead and start the hooking process again. And so I'm gonna go ahead and hook the pink one Grab it, hook it up and over, and now I will take this pink one over here, hook it up and over the other ones, completely releasing it at the top. Grabbing the pink one, grabbing the very bottom one, pulling up and over, and grabbing this bottom one over here and pulling it up and over. Now we are ready to add on our next layer of rubber bands. Okay. Make sure your rubber bands are pushed down so you have room to add your next layer. And I'll show you this all one last time. Getting my next rubber band here, I'm going to go ahead and put it diagonally. And put my next one diagonally. And we're ready to start the hooking process. I'm going to go ahead and grab the very bottom color in my case is blue, pull it up and over and completely release it. And grab my next rubber band at the bottom and pull it up and over. Now I'm going to flip my loom around, grab the bottom one, pull it up and over and up and over. Okay, and now you can see the start of our bracelet forming here, just the very end of it. You're going to continue these steps and the bra bracelet will come through through the bottom of this loom. It'll come right out here. And you're going to go ahead and keep doing that until you can make it around your whole wrist. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mine and then I'll come back to you guys when I'm finished and ready to take it off the loom. So it has been about 20 minutes and I have finally finished and it's about... 
this long. It didn't take me too long, actually. This moves so much quicker than the hexa fish tail or whatever it's called. Um, just because it has bigger stitches, I would say. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to take it off. So I'll start with the last stitch. Okay, so I've positioned my loom sideways a little bit just... Uh, well, I've positioned my loom turned around just to make it a little bit easier to finish. So I'm going to go ahead and put my last colors on. Go ahead and hook the last colors over. So I have now finished hooking the gray over and I'm left with two layers of bands. I have the pink one here and the blue one over there. So. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook the pink one over. Don't worry, your bracelet won't fall apart or anything. We just want to get rid of all these layers so we can fit them into a C-clip. Okay, so now I have finished and I have a C-clip right here. And we're going to go ahead and hook the four ends of this bracelet onto the C-clip. So I'm going to go ahead and hook the C-clip on here. Pull it off. Hook it on this rubber band and pull it off. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these two. It's a little bit hard to do under camera, so I'm going to go ahead and do this by hand. Okay, so I have now finished putting all four ends onto the C-clip, and it looks like this. So now I'm going to go ahead and join the other end. Now, our C-clip is going to be a little bit crowded, so I'm going to put the minimum amount, of, minimum amount of bands on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put two, just, for, just to make sure it's strong enough. So I'm going to go ahead, grab this end of the C-clip, and obviously slip two of these bands over here. Okay, I'll show you a close-up of how this looks. I've got all my bands on here. And we are now finished with the Angel Halo bracelet. This is my original design again, and I designed it over the summer. I really like this bracelet, and I hope you guys do too. So please do give this video a thumbs up. It'll really help me out a lot, and subscribe so I can get this channel started. I'm really excited to start more tutorials. Go ahead and comment any tutorials you want me to make. And I will try my best to make them for you. Thanks for watching.